that needs to go that can stay that can stay that can stay let's start with this man i mean i'm getting too i'm getting i'm getting a bit too i'm getting keep your opinions come i'm getting a bit bored of hearing about one to way players Lucas Torreira opens up on talks with Jose Mourinho to finally land Arsenal chance for exit. We hear he's going on tour to America. His agent keeps talking. One minute he's going to Juventus like yesterday. Today it's Roma. Anything that in terms of incomings and outgoings where that come out of Italy, I always look at it with a pinch of a pinch of salt, people. Torreira done well in Italy. You would have thought he would have stayed at Fiorentina. You would imagine if anyone knows more than us about him and his and the last year he had it be these Italian clubs, but who knows, people. Another, you know, much like Fiorentina just bought another player and got Vlahovic money. They were acting shysty, you know. Roma didn't want to give the Xhaka piece, but he's revealed he held talks with Jose Mourinho over a potential switch to Roma. Let's see if that actually rings true, people. In an interview with U Uruguay Media, he said, Roma, yes, there's a possibility. I spoke to Mourinho a while ago. I admire him as a coach. It's an opportunity that tempts me a lot, but it's not easy. Okay. And again, it says here Juventus are interested in the individual people. Um, even though Torreira has been called up for the Gunners preseason tour of the United States, it, it appears unlikely there's any way back in for the midfield at the Emirates. Apparently, he's been told there's no chance of him salvaging his career at the Emirates, people. Um, from the beginning, they told me that I didn't have a place. So I don't want to stay either because I suffered a lot. It cost me a lot to adapt. And my idea is to go to Italy or Spain. What I wanted was to stay at Fiorentina, but it didn't happen for various reasons. So we'll look for a new direction. We've been linked with Glimando, this time for 5.9 million quid people. As we see Lissandro Martinez and his ability to play left back is getting away with but getting away from us people. 26 years of age, Spanish, could be a backup for Tini. I don't really rate in particular, but you know, if we've missed out on Aaron Hickey, if we've missed out on Lissandro Martinez and there's no one, no one else, then it is what it is. Um, you are seeing allegedly Tavares is moving closer to completing a loan switch away from the club. So surely that wouldn't be sanctioned without certain things happening, people. Again, hella Paqueta things, people. Where Paqueta is linked, Arsenal look at Paqueta. The Gunners are still looking to strengthen their midfield and the latest to join the list has been the Brazilian from Lyon. The French club would like to sell him for 65 million plus variables. So again, selling to the highest bidder, a lot of peace. You know, that's more than what it would have taken to get Rafinha. Obviously, if Chelsea and Barca weren't a thing. Arsenal's transfer market is still in full swing after the arrivals of Fabio Vieira, Matt Turner, Marquinhos and Gabriel Jesus. Because in the last hours, interest in Lucas Pagueta has joined. The Brazilian wants to leave Leon this summer for the Premier League. So him wanting to leave could be a primary reason he's linked with Arsenal. Allegedly, we're interested in him as we was at AC Milan and before he went there. Leon would let the player go. But Ulas wants 65 million euros plus variables. According to journalist Ben Jacobs in January, he already said that he would expect to get around 80 million for his player. So that's looking like a myth, really and truly. I, I would like him. He's able to play as an eight, as a 10 out wide. But yeah, 220, 25 likes. Can we keep running that up, people? A few weeks ago, Newcastle United's interest in Lucas Paqueta rang out strongly. Although the club has not sent an official offer either, the two English clubs will fight for the Brazilian midfielder. Arsenal is also involved in several fronts like other players such as Lissandro Martinez, Rafinha and Telemans. Lull. Without a doubt, the North London team wants to reinforce its squad to fight for a return to the Champions League. Um, apparently, Ulas has declared that there's real interest from foreign teams. So he wants the guy to cap and, and, and leave. He's capping so the guy leaves the club and he wants to sell to the highest bidder. A bit like Ajax with half the players there selling, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. There are proposals for him. There are players that fit perfectly with our project and others that don't. Economically, we have the means to give continuity to our roadmap, roadmap and objectives. Um, so, yeah, apparently the player's environment does not deny other teams being interested as well, people. Um, so I don't know for any of that. Paqueta allegedly is asked to leave, Leon. According to Lekeep, he is asked to leave this summer, people. Obviously, 24 years of age, people. He's allegedly asked to leave. Newcastle United were the most recent club to try to persuade Lucas Paqueta to join in this summer. And Leon rejected an approach from the Magpies in the winter. Um, 
And he's got his other Brazilian, Don Grimares. You've got Joe Linton. A couple of other players might join as well, people. He's got a World Cup to think about, so we don't know. But he's bagged, you know, in 78 outings, people, for the French club. He's got 21 goals and 13 assists. He can play as a number eight, a 10, a false nine, and actually as a right winger. And when you look at, I haven't got them to hand, but his pressing metrics and all of them things as to why Arteta would like Fabio Vieira and Gabriel Zis, he scores quite high for that. So, yeah, man, it's something to consider. Arsenal interested in Lucas Paqueta. Leon confirmed receiving offers, people, as we said. There are offers for him. There are some players who can fully fulfill, who can fully, who can feel fully fulfilled by the project, and others who can't. Economically, we have the means to pursue other ideas and our objectives. So we'll have to see what happens there, people. And this is just the Daily Mail confirming this. The Leon boss is going to hold talks with Paqueta over his future. Arsenal and Newcastle are interested in acquiring his services. There's no European football for Leon, so they might consider offers, people. But in terms of bids and significant progress being made, it doesn't look like we're anywhere there yet, people. So it all it is what it is. The Leon Gaffer said, I want to keep all good players, but you also have to be realistic. There's a player who is very important in the matter. The, the coach, the club, the other clubs, it's always a game between different parties. Lucas is a very important player, but it depends on what the player wants. I already had a conversation, but that will be between us. So there you there, there you have it there, people. Um, we've been linked with N'Golo Kante. I don't think anyone be, believes that. He's got 12 months left on his deal. You know, that's probably where it comes from. Kante's a quality player. Yeah. What more have I got to say? Arsenal consider N'Golo Kante transfer and hope Chelsea will cash in on star midfielder. Uh, Arsenal are considering a shock approach for Chelsea midfielder and Golo Kante. We'd love Kante for whatever reason, in it, but I'll get to your questions in a bit, people. But you'd have it's not gonna happen, in it. He's a world-class player on his day. Not didn't have the best of seasons last year. Premier League winner, Champions League winner, World Cup winner. It's N'Golo Kante, in it. If you could get him on a two-year deal without breaking the wage bank, why not in it? But does anyone believe this? Apparently, United are involved in him. Kante isn't going to the uh, uh, the tour of Chelsea's tour of America alongside Ruben Loftus Cheek. Allegedly, that is to do to do with their vaccination uh, status as well in relation to, I guess, COVID and whatnot. People, so you you gotta read that with a pinch of salt. Non-US citizens are not allowed into the country unless they're fully vaccinated, and it's understood that neither midfielder meets the entry requirements. Ross, I can't go to America either. Crazy. So yeah, people, it is what it is, but everyone's free to do what they want. So yeah, Kante is Kante, in it? Once again. Romano has said at the to be monitored until the end of the market because Paqueta would love to play in the Premier League. His club would like at least 60 to 65 million euros plus add on. So that's surely that could be done for the same sort of piece with Rafino. But is this just a is this just an agent led one or is it a real one? Partey's in training at London Coley, people. I mean, what would we have to have a player like Samir Nasri? Happy birthday to El Nene, who's 30. His dad thinks he'll be Arsenal coach one day, people. We'll have to see. Jack Wilshere has arrived at our training ground. Allegedly, he is to be our new under-18s gaffer. Saliba is back at London Coley. He's accompanied by his agent. Hopefully, that's around a new deal and things. Once again, Torreira is part of the pre-season tour. Let's see what this is saying. Apparently, his agent said Lucas to Juventus. He would like to stay and play in Italy. But today, Arsenal has called him up for tour. They will do in America. So he seems to be part of their programme. Um, once again, he said, you know, Arsenal told him there's no chance of him staying. And again, hell, then they dad thinks he'll be a coach at Arsenal. That's great, man. So we'll have to see how these ones there develop. You know, big up Jesus, but that's irrelevant to us. We've already seen this. So Roma, Juventus, all these things. Leno has ended up in the sights of Fulham people. Again, have they made progress? Apparently Fulham are, you know, apparently Fulham have found an agreement over a three-year contract and they're now negotiating a fee with Arsenal. I mean, I'm not being funny. I don't think Arsenal are going to... ...balls are different, but Leno is a de very decent keeper, a German international, a year left or not. Fulham paid for 10, 10, a 10 million fee rising to 13, 14 for Andreas Pereira. I don't, I think we'll be lucky to get 10 million for Leno, but you should be able to at least get the, a similar fee, at least get a 15 people. So, yeah, he's making progress in relation to hitting them up. Uh, Arsenal's stance on Yuri, on Lucas Teller, on Lucas Paqueta and Yuri Tellemans. 
Arsenal remain interested in, br in bringing in Lucas Paqueta and Telemans to the Emirates before the new campaign gets underway, according to reports. Both of them, I find, I mean, I find that too good to be true. I find either or, and even that's taken long. We know Arteta wants to bring people in. CBS is saying Arsenal remain interested in striking a deal to land Paqueta, but are yet to firm up their plans with an official offer. I mean, it's a bit like Telemans. There's, you know, there's no official offer, so there's no medicals and all of these sort of things to get things done, really and truly. And it seems like he'll be on the move for what it's worth. So we'll have to see how these things are going on, people. There are proposals for him, so we'll have to see. And we'd, I'd, we need to get the Telemans done, you know. A move for Telemans is said to be within the realms of possibility for Arsenal this summer, with the Gunners still believed to be in contact with the players' camp regarding his potential availability. Arteta was urged to push hard towards in his efforts to land a Belgium. Arsenal have lost the physio people. Senior physio Simon Murphy has joined Nottingham Forest after a year here. Best of luck, fella. That's all we need to say on you. Once again, the Gabriel T. Juventus rumours are, are hotting up again. I'm not getting involved in this, but for what it's worth, Arsenal would demand at least 33.8 million in brackets, 40 million for Gabriel. Maybe that's where left-sided Lissandro Martinez rumours comes from. I don't know. Um, you know, apparently we're linked in, we're linked with Carl Walker Peters people. Um where if you scroll the way down, it actually says it here somewhere. Walkers, who joined on a permanent basis from Tottenham two years ago, has broken into the England setup. He was linked with Everton last week, but despite firm admiration, their financial problems would make Goodison Park an unrealistic destination for now. Spurs are thought to have put a 30 million buyback clause in the agreement that saw Walker Peters switch to Southampton, while the likes of Manchester United and Arsenal understood to have the defender on the list of possible targets. I know he's an ex Spud, but he's a Londoner. He can play on the left and the right. I wouldn't be against it, man. You could do a lot worse in it, really and truly, but. I would like to pursue other targets, really, if I'm honest with you. Once again, Manchester United and Arsenal remain interested in Southampton's um, right-back Carl Walker-Peters. If I'm him, I'd probably go to United because I think I could take the right-back spot off, off, off uh, Wan-Bissaka more than I could take Tommy Asus. But then he might say, I can play left-back. Tini can't stay fit. I might go and do that, you know. So for what it's worth, we're interested. But you need to take that with a pinch of salt. You know, it, being interested, if we're looking at fullbacks, then by all means, he's going to be on the list. Not not, not everybody is, some people are higher or, 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 or lower on the list. Some people is firmed up with offers and things. As we've seen with Aaron Hickey, there wasn't any offers. So watching, scouting, monitoring is very different from pursuing a player. I wouldn't be against Kyle Walker-Peters. He helps with the homegrown things as well. And I think Martinelli and Saliba are, are going to be able to help us in that case. You know, 42 likes. We're making progress in relation to 300 people. Can we get there? Unexpected high bills. If you haven't, God bless you if you have it, the like button. Uh, again, Ben Jacobs reckons Arsenal are monitoring the Gnabry situation, having missed out on Rafina, who is going to be joining Barca or Chelsea. We'll have to see. But apart from admiration, it's a myth. Um, he might cost around 50 million. And another agent is saying, I think Gnabry has been on, another journalist, I think Gnabry has been on Arsenal's radar, been on the radar of Arsenal, although I don't think it's a deal they'll be able to do this summer. Obviously, his connection with the club, having previously been there before he returned to Germany, so so he knows all out, all out the club, all about the club. What are we here, having here? We've seen the Carl Walker-Peters stuff. Arsenal and Celtic target close to joining surprising club. Right, Josh Dog is on the verge of joining uh, Verona. And I mean, that could be the angle. You be a Scottish Don, you go to Italy, you stay there for a couple of years, you'll make peas. I mean, Doug would be a decent addition, um, especially because he can play fullback. But it's another one which looked like a scouting thing, not really real interest. Once again, we've looked at Pequeta. I was excited with that in that you can see bare different links, people. Tavares is wanted by Marseille on loan with an option to buy. I'd sanction that. Not no Grindosi 9 million thing. You need to at least 12 million plus a sell-on clause. If you could, or 16, 12 to 16, or no sell-on clause. You know, you go to Marseille, play well, turn that 8 million into in, in into 16 or whatever. I don't believe in Nuno Tavares. I'll give him a chance, you know, to prove me wrong. I don't believe in him. I feel sometimes you get it wrong, innit? He's 21. He feels, he, he, you know, he loves the club. He, he fits in with what we're trying to do, but not every project. just too much that needs to be done with him people on top of developing all the other players but i wouldn't sanction his exit until we get 
You know, he's not done yet, but I'm sorry, he is. He's unreliable. Even in this game against United and Chelsea, two of his better games, he done bad. He done he done quite bad. Can't be trusted defensively, overrated going forward. There's stuff to like about him. Bit of a madman, but I'm not even trying to get him. He's just, you know, we need a left back that's reliable. He's not that, really, you know. Young players are going to cost you points. Tavares is going to cost you a lot, but a lot of points. And we're doing this development thing. Do you want to, you know, you might as well pour more resources into taking a 25-year-old Odegaard and, and, and Jesus to the next level. Saka and Smith Rowe to the next level. He is a flop. Let's be honest. Like, you are a flop right now, blood. Pause. Let's be honest. You've done that here. Clearly, Arteta don't trust you. You've been, you've had more bad games than good. Everybody could talk about them. You, any time is difficult away from home. You've been clipped. He has had good games. I don't think we should turn on him. But let's cut the crap, bro. Sometimes you just have to say you got it wrong, bro. For, based on the year we saw, he's not reliable. In them 20 odd appearances he made for Arsenal, he was media. I'm not trying to get him. Let's not lie to ourselves. Come on now. I'm not telling you lot what to think. Just think. If you don't think he is, then fair play. But maybe, maybe it's because I'm a Sunday League fullback. We look at these things harsher. He's been linked with Marseille, Atalanta. Actually, his old club in Benfica, etc. as well. So, it is what it is. I wouldn't give up on him yet. I'd let him go out on loan, see what he's saying. But if you could get your money back from now till next year, why well, not in it, people? At least it's not. Sometimes you get it wrong. It's cool. I hope he could turn something around. If he could just switch on defensively, he'd be the perfect fullback. But it's looking like a madness, people. You know, it's looking like a madness. So it's a bit of a myth, and you know, it's a it's a myth. Let's see what the scum paper is saying. It's just Paqueta, 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 Jesus bread, Saliba's return to Arsenal training, Rafina's move to Barca is imminent. We've submitted a bid allegedly for Gimando. Arsenal understood to have submitted an opening offer. One minute is 5.9, then it's about six million. Uh once again, Paqueta stuff. Into a trying to sell Alexis Sanchez, who gives a crap about that. Kante bid denied. Arsenal have not submitted any proposals from fully ill winger Edon Zegrovia, and there are no negotiations ongoing for Kante from Chelsea as things stand. Tavares, as I said, he's getting you know a lot of interest. So nothing really of note. So yeah, Paqueta Paqueta. Terreros is whoring himself out again, and he's said he's whole, you know he's he's calling up Jose and chatting to him. Get the move done, my bro. You're doing more than your agent. What are you paying your agent for? The only time I see your agent is when he's talking about you and Arsenal. Um, he's he's offered himself to Juventus. Yeah, he's like, but yeah, he's offered himself. Go and do that. You know, Juventus got a fetish for midfielders, so go and get that one done. Can't lie, I so randomly saw this people. These were our signings in 2018: Lick, Steiner, Leno, Socrates, Terreros, and Guendouzi. Now. You know, I think you can leave with your head held high. I think Leno was a decent signing. Torreira, I think we're all probably scratching our head, you know. If if Tavares is a flop, then Cedric is a flop too. We need another right back. Bro, are you defending? Bro, brother, do you think Cedric's good? Do you think Cedric's good? Are you defending Cedric? Are you defending Cedric? Do you think Cedric wasn't a flop? What are we saying? He's media as well. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Of course. I do think one thing that goes against... Tavares, man, act like Cedric doesn't do the same things, but oh, come on now. What the hell? Of course. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't quite, I think everyone's scratching our head as to what actually went wrong with Torreira, whether it was stuff that happened in his personal life, struggling to adapt. He did start scoring goals at Fiorentina, so maybe Emre saw something he didn't, but it went from all the songs about Torreira, woo, till he got marginalized and became a number 10. When those he couldn't behave himself, I think these two should still be at Arsenal Football Club, really, but. Well, technically, one still is, but it is what it is. So, yeah. What's Fabrizio Romano saying here? Oh, you got to subscribe. Even for Romano, I was going to gas you up, but it ain't adapting. I think this is all just other Arsenal stuff, people, in relation to our last game. So, I'll get into that in a second. Um, what else have we got here? Pause that. Apparently, we've set a price for Gabriel Commando offers. Oi, apparently, a move's been lined up if Saliba departs. Will sign. I can't say his name, but used to used to play in France as well, and then he went to Wolfsburg. He's doing all right. Don't believe that. Fifty five million for Lucas Paqueta. I would do it really. I can't lie. Torreira whoring himself out. You know we set a price for Gabriel. 
So it don't really seem like much. Neves, Ruben Neves and Telemans are on United's list of midfielders if the young thing doesn't happen. Leicester want to speed up the sale of Yuri Telemans so that they can do what they're doing. And we've got to remember, Leicester have to do their own rebuild of their own. You know, they've got rid of Samore. There's rumours, Siyunchu, a couple other players are available. So we have to see. Saliba's been doing personal training and seems to be making movements. Arsenal appear to be getting snubbed by Milinkovic Savic. He's not keen on joining either party this summer. I mean, have we actually bidded? You can do what you want, but if we've not bidded, then you can do whatever, isn't it? It's like me saying, I'll, I'll never, you know, if, if if Beyonce likes me, I'll never get with Beyonce. She's not made by no offer. What am I talking about? You're just looking nonsense, really. Leno's on the verge of going, which, again, I like him a lot, Leno, but yeah, man. Apparently, there's 11 PSG players up for sale. They're all meaty, though. They're all meaty. Paredes, Paredes wouldn't mind taking a chance. Would see what could be done for Ronaldo on loan. Draxler, Ricardi, whatever. It's a myth. Apparently, Arteta said on transfers, we never talk about players that are not ours. As I said before, we can improve the team still in the market. We're going to try and do it, but we're not going to go into any specific names. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. You know, apparently we spoke about this on Twitch. I don't want to go over the same things, but in relation to Lissandro Martinez, United allegedly made a bid of 50 million euros and it's still not enough. Ajax not doing anything wrong, selling to the highest bidder. But um, what's going on? What's going on? I'm not against it, but what's going on? If we're paying 50 million for another centre-back, what's going on? There's never no two players are alike, but could you find someone that's adaptable like Lissandro Martinez that has a similar profile for half the price? 50 million without pouring that in midfield when we spent 50 million on Saliba, um, not Saliba, sorry, Ben White, 30 on Saliba. You've got Gabriel. Unless Gabriel was to depart, I don't know about this, really. And it's arguably, you arguably say 50 million on a left back because by all means, he's, the, the position he's played the most times is centre back. That's what he should be coming to play with at Arsenal um, in, in that position. If he goes at left back, fair enough, but he's played 12 times there. 50 million for a left back that's played 12 times where if Tierney's fit, he plays every week for me. It, it, I'm not against it, but when you start weighing up the pros and cons, it's looking banduli. There's been no bids for Fabian Ruiz as his contract at Napoli is running down people. We have had no bids for, for any club for Fabian Ruiz. He loves the City, but he's exploring options before deciding his future. We want Fabian to stay here. We're waiting for him to bring offers before deciding on our proposal. So... Yeah, man, you know, if we could go to Italy and return with Fabian Ruiz, with Milinkovic Savic or something like that, I'm sure we're all hit here for it. Arsenal are not in for another striker. And you've seen that with the shift towards more of a winger with Jesus getting over the line and obviously Eddie and Ketia signing. No one buys the Kante stuff. One minute, Milinkovic Savic has no, no doesn't want to join, join us. But apparently, yeah, man, we've bidded 42.3 million, 50 million euros, and it's been rejected for him. They value him at 70 million euros, really and truly. So it is what it is. Torreira's part of plans, at least where the tour's concerned. So, yeah, man, options have opened up for, for you know, Tavares, for, for Breach. So it says Spanish clubs, French clubs and Italian clubs are all interested in him. By the moment, Arsenal are not accepting any bid for Tavares. So let's see. I saw these rumours, but at the moment, I'm told it's not something close or imminent people. So we'll have to see where it's, where we're going in that regard. So if you believe reports, it seems Gilmando and uh, Paqueta seem to be the names we're going for, people. Um, what's Sports Witness saying? Just talking about Lissandro. If we look at this, people, I know it's got nothing to do with Arsenal, but we have been linked with Lissandro Martinez. Yap Stam has spoken about him and he has said, whether Martinez is worth 50 million, that is difficult to say. This kind of money has become normal, especially in England. That's why Ajax are trying to rob both United and Arsenal. I can't blame them, really. You know, see, you imagine if, if either club or someone else tried to buy Gravenbech, you think we're getting a deal like, like Bayern Munich? Myth. I've become a fan of his. I think he's a fantastic guy with good temperament and a winning mentality for trainers. These are great players to work with. I mean, that's great. You know, that's great. Is that all you've said? Well, scrolling all the way down. Scrolling all the way down because he spoke about Melanza there. Back in the day, defenders in England couldn't be big enough. Pals. Two metres was good. Pals. Also to be able to head away a lot of balls. Now, most clubs and coaches want to play football. That doesn't mean you don't have to defend. There are so many fast attackers who are merciless on the counter-attack. Therefore, what's important is that a defender has cleverness. 
um, quickly reads where the ball goes and a little nudge or push, then you don't even have to get into duels. Martinez has also developed that. I'm cool with that. He's very skilled and creative in his passing. The more he has such players, the more Ten Hag can keep the ball and the less he encounters, he encounters counters. What is also important for this, certainly in the strongest competition in the world, is communication. And therefore, whoever he, and therefore, who will he be linked um, to at the heart of defence? And because Martinez is comfortable on the ball, he can also play as a defensive midfielder. I cannot rule out the possibility Ten Hag will use him there. So, yeah, if you're part of that hype, there's that. Again, just to reiterate the Terrera stuff, people. Apparently, all things point to an exit. The Gunners will still be wanting to make some money from a deal. And while they know they won't get 50 million euros, they pre-agreed with Fiorentina. They still want a fair chunk. Allegedly, as things stand, we only want 10 million. And considering we paid about 20 or so, it's quite the falling off thing, really and truly. That's, that's, that's quite a mare, ain't it, really? 280 likes. Come on, people. We're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. So... Yeah, where the transfer news is 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 regarded. That's that really and truly, folks. Um, if I put what what's the time on this? One eleven. Let's just call it one twelve and done. Transfer news. So yeah, there's that people. Should we recap what Arteta has been speaking about in relation Brazil FC 